Hello, welcome back to Grey Lion Gaming. In this episode, I'm going to be looking at the new factory update and trying to get some of them quests completed. I don't think we'll be doing claustrophobia to start with because uh, I think this might take a while to eliminate targets in the cellar area with a shotgun. Uh, Black Swan is locate the heat exchangers and mark them. Survive an extract through the factory main gate. I'll have to find that. Locate the dead work and take their blood sample. Okay, I'll try and find that. Possessor. So I know where the helicopter is because it's in the same place. Well, I assume it's through the same, in the same place. Uh, must need to get up to it and find the logbook. So uh, without further ado, I'll join you when we're going into the raid. Okay, so I have played the factory a couple of times the new map uh, and all I will say is make sure you've got a torch on your gun because it is very dark okay so uh, I'm not sure where we are we're obviously underground somewhere is this near gate one? Oh no it's near the office block Yeah, as you can see, the lighting has changed quite a bit, and it does look nice. But it is definitely hard to see people without a flashlight. Okay, so, I think this is the way to outside. I don't know, not. No, it's not. So it looks as though most extracts are accessible rather than being locked behind a, a locked door now. Which is a lot handier. Let's head back down the stairs because imagine the heat exchangers down here near water pipes. So after all that is their job. It's their heat exchangers, but there we go. Reminds me of the ones at work, apart from these are a lot smaller. Ones that work are a lot bigger than this. I'm just wondering if that's all four of them. It can't be. I was going to say, if we had to map all four of them, maybe mechanic is uh, absolutely blind, because I'm quite sure he would notice one of, uh, well, all of them, if we'd map one of them. Let's just see. We'll let the clock run down and see if we can plant another. No, so it must be three locations. Hmm. So I think we're best off just following pipes for these. Should lead us to them. Through this way, maybe. All right. So this, oh, that, different. This bit's all flooded now. Water is wet. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, that's cut pretty cool. This looks almost like a way into labs. Through the sewers. Sounds like we've got someone. They're above us. 
Just hoping to Gillers not here. To ruin our date. Together by the sounds of it. Stop here. Oh, shit. Oh, bollocks. How many eight points has he got? Right, we'll uh, get kitted up and try again. Right, let's try again. Hopefully, Tagilla's not about to spoil the party again. To be fair, he did take a lot of rounds, though, which is a bit concerning. I don't think he should have took that many rounds. So, courtyard gate, I wonder if that's what they mean by the main gate. Is that here? Yeah. So we don't want to go out of there just yet. And I definitely recommend bringing a flashlight. I don't know if do we get out of here then. Do we? Stealthily moving in. <laughs> so this area is a lot more cluttered than it was before. I can go downstairs as well from here. Wonder if we can find another heat exchanger while we're down here. I think these are the ones we originally found, aren't they? Yeah. Ah, uh, this is where we started, I think. Last time? Yeah, it was. They're so spaced out. All the air changes. This is kind of where Tagilla got us last time. Let's hope he's not here. I don't know if that was at me then. Oh, no, it might be. That was a PMC. I wonder if that's the guy we have to find to get the blood sample. Sure where the others are. No, maybe not. 
do need to go up here to find the helicopter there. Quickly uh, pack some mags back up. This does get through quite a bit of ammo. Well, especially with my shooting, it does anyway. Don't want to get caught short if uh, Tequila is here. Might nick one of their backpacks. Someone to the right. I know we got this P5 is not the best. What's that PMC's? Is that someone's feet around this side? Yeah, it was. Notice they're not looting as much as they uh, was before the PvP stuff wiped. So we need to get to the helicopter. More grenades. So we'll take them. Looks like there's a MC over here somewhere. Being a lethal one, but never mind. How do we get up there then? Let's get up there. Here and get shot at by BMC. Walk into a wall. So, where's the log book? Is that it? There we go. Oh, this is a lot longer now. One you can see from woods, maybe. Not sure. I think it was. Uh... Hmm. 
suggested originally that it was uh, in customs factory, but looking at that, I don't know that we are. So we've got the log book. We've met one of the heat exchangers, but I can't seem to find the others. I wonder if there's one in the pumping station. Somebody running about. Try the pump in station. I think that's near here, isn't it? There. I wonder if we can get to it from up here. We can. Yeah, now we Oh shit. Oh that shit me up a bit. I was going to say one of them's actually looted something, but it's nothing worth taking. That one didn't make me <coughs> jump as much as it will. Let's just get through some ammo. Sure, if I can hear. Move on a bit further down. In this update they have increased the uh, like ambient noise as well by the sounds of it like the environmental noise so you near know, like pipes creaking and stuff like that which is pretty cool does he loot anything oh yes Like it up there somewhere. Right, let's see if we can find another heat exchanger before we leave. I imagine they'll all be underground but I could be wrong no oh, okay so we still need a key for that Oh, 
Ah, oh, here they are. There's some more. So where are the others? A quick look. Some more of these ones I've just marked. Oh, there we go. Nice one. So we've at least got a couple of uh, quests done so far. Well, so far. Now we just need to extract via the main gate. Get that ticked off. I don't think we can get out side from here. I think. Oh, we got in through the office, didn't we? Uh, this way. Should hopefully be able to get back out that window we jumped in. Yeah, we can. Oh, got stuck then for a second. So hopefully this is the main. That's as the main gate. It's a bit more successful. We've got a couple of things done. Yeah, it was. So that map. That's changed quite a lot. I know I've not explored everywhere. Looks nice though, a lot nicer. It's a lot easier without Tegilla there, running around, taking nearly 800 uh, points of damage and not dying. Right. So, got that done. Walls of eyes. Oh, another factory quest. So, install Wi Fi cameras in the crane. Forklift certified, so I imagine we have to do the same, but well marked forklifts. Okay, all the forklifts. These tasks are quite good, I must admit, to get you uh, exploring all of the, the new factory map. There's definitely more to do up there now, more to explore. Like more lockers to look in, because I always thought that there was hardly anything to really do on factory before. Like there won't, like especially like when you went in as a scav, there won't really much to loot apart from other bodies that you found if you was on VVP. Some pretty good stuff so far. Oops. Okay, so I'll tidy some of this stuff up. And I think we'll go in for one more and try and uh, find all the forklifts. So I'll join you when we're loading back in. Right, straight back in. This one I'm going to try and find all 12 forklifts. I'm hoping that we don't have to mark them. N not brought any markers. That spawned us in a very good place. Right, 
So, one of the four lifts just down here. A few PMCs around here. Let's, uh, let's try and get out of here. That's one of them. There's another one. So it says there's 12 in total. Terminator. He's going to be pushing me. Yeah. That sounds like it. Oh, it's digging up. Above me. Seems to like me though, doesn't he? Just to always start chasing after me. And there's other PMCs scrapping and right where we are. Seems to be a bit more attracted to me than the others. Maybe. Did we kill him? But we didn't. Jesus. Hey, we got him. After he took uh, over eighty-two rounds. Ah, thought he might have something a bit more for us, but he hasn't. That's something that's different now. You have to have searched through something before you can load it up. I suppose it maybe makes a bit of sense because you obviously won't know how much space is in it until you'd looked in it, but yeah. No, he's not really got anything decent for us. But at least we don't have to worry about him. Charging round after us, killing us. Don't know if it's worth taking his gun, maybe to sell, but got any of these. Right, let's get a move on. So we found two or three of the four lifts. Which I know obviously isn't very many to say there's twelve of them. Or two, so we've got ten left. <laughs> so best get a move on. A bit too heavy really. The killer's stuff. Zero. So there's one of the cranes. Let's make our way up to that. Plant that camera. Hopefully, we don't have to stand there for too long. Does it have to be in the cab? Oh 
one, don't we? Just have to fly up. I have no idea where he is. Where are you? Wow. All the way down there. A bit stuck up here as well. Well, I'm in a bad spot here. Right, I might as well try and place it. I bet I could have placed it while I was up top. Hopefully you don't push me while I'm doing this. Don't really know how to get off here. Need to get off here really and heal my arms back up. Climb that ladder, kind of. No. Maybe. Have, uh, drop down here. I'm gonna have to drop down and bust my legs, I think. Oh no. Okay, go up there. to drop down here. Ah, didn't break out of legs. Hopefully they'll give us a chance to fix our arms up. Oh, I'm not dead, I don't know. So, I don't think <laughs> we're going to get the 12 port lifts found in this one. Well, we maybe find the cranes. I imagine there'll be a crane in each bay. This is one of them. It's one, the in the next area, I think, right over where that guy was shooting us from. Is he still shooting at me? Can't really tell. Probably not a wise move going this way. Sounds like they're fighting scavs rather than me. Right, there's another fort lift. Is there a crane? There's a crane. We don't have a cab. So I imagine there's a crane through this way. Definitely thought they through this way because it's in gate three.
There's one. Right, I think it's best I get out and reset. Right, I'll quickly uh, re-kit my guy and I'll join you back in the next raid. Sorry for ending that last raid a little bit uh, sooner than I was hoping to. I had a phone call that I needed to take, uh, so I got out while I could. So I've got seven more of the forklifts to find and two more of the cranes to put Wi-Fi cameras in. So I'm hoping we don't get a spawn like we did last time because we've got under the cosh a bit straight away uh, and I'm wondering if we can plant the Wi-Fi cameras on top of the cab rather than having to drop down because I think that was the mistake I made with that one right so there's seven more well there's three here so four even one two three four right so three more to find if there's any down this way, I think there is near gate one. Two more here. Right, I wonder if there's one in here. Ah, oh, no, there isn't. So, where's the last one? To be a bit of a pain to find it. Oh, let's have a look. But that one wasn't as tricky as I thought with the being 12. I imagine on PvP it's a bit trickier to just run around the entire map. There we are. Brain up there. Just check if it is crane cabs that we need to do. Cockpit, I call it a cockpit. That's fine. So that one is a remote crane. That's a remote. There's a cab. So how do we get to that? Wait, maybe. It'll be tricky again because I bet there's people down here. shooting at me. Looks like I have to drop down. It's a bit of a pain really. But... You're a bit trapped once you're down here. Just trying to think where the other one might be. Find it there. Yeah, so this map does look a lot cleaner. Not in terms of uh, <laughs> cleanliness, I mean uh, cleaner as in graphically than it did before. And there's certainly a lot more to do on it now. Makes it a lot more interesting. So I'm hoping as well if anyone's seen. The marathon stuff that they've uh, started doing on PvP, where you can move from map to map. Oops. 
Uh, oh shit, I didn't bring any... Uh, to use this quickly to f repair my leg. Uh, map to map travel, so I'm hoping eventually, if anyone's played like DayZ and stuff like that, when this game was first introduced, it was introduced as like a DayZ kind of game, so hoping that all the maps will become interlinked at some stage and we can just travel map to map seamlessly and it'll be more like an open world survival looter extraction game if that makes sense okay, all good all right let's see if we can find the last crane Downstairs or upstairs. Take those. Ah, I'll take that as well. the last one. Right, let's go up there, mark that, and get out. At least we've done a bit of questing on this map. Better if they'd put things underneath these so you could actually just drop down off them. I know I missed the uh, blue containers earlier, but it's not really just a drop off point, so. God. Let me plant this. So he's... no. We'll just hobble out. Ah, oh, shit, my leg's broken. Okay, so a few more quests done. Hopefully you've got to see a bit more of the factory map. I'll maybe do like a full review where I walk around it on like practice mode. Show you all the areas that are new and what it looks like now. So let's hand these quests in and then I think I'll end that episode there. So I hope you've all enjoyed it. And sorry for the delay between the last video I uploaded for Tarkov and the uh, and this one. I am going to try and uh, upload a bit more as well, but 
work commitments kind of uh, get in the way sometimes. Right, let's just hand these in. What do we get for this? Spark bulbs. Oh, another one. So we have to fix the reactors. We didn't get one for doing that. Night sweep, who's is that? No idea. Okay, so yeah, I'll end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.